What's going on, guys? So this week we've got a Knight's Tale is uh, for the arena this week. So I went ahead and what better thing to do than on a Monday than build a deck around the arena. So I guess first let's go check out the arena this week. Uh, we've got, here's our featured uh, arenas. We have a Pioneers of Science for 150. We've got Aetherian Legends for 100. Espionage for 90. Forces of the Universe 70, Riding the Waves, and Carnivores. So I've built a deck primarily around Espionage and Forces of the Universe. And I think I do have one Pioneer of Science in there as well. So let's go take a gander. You guys kind of saw a little brief peek at it, I think, here. So we're going to go back and revisit the Roswell Incident. So when played, if played between two Espionage cards... Your space cards, wherever they are, get plus 16 until played. So uh, along with that, we are also getting a buff from Statue of Liberty in this deck. Going to get that plus 21 on our... Uh, this is a 666 build, so going to get plus 21 on everything. So our espionage cards that we're going to play next to Roswell, we have the Enigma Machine. When drawn, your opponent's cards in hand lose 7 this round, and this card gains plus 35 for the round. We've also included Violet. <clears throat> when drawn, your uh, two opponent's random cards in hand cost plus two for three turns. And we've also included Virginia Hall doing a little taxing as well. When drawn, your opponent's cards in hand cost plus one this turn. So not a lot of taxing, just a little splash of it in this deck, primarily just to trigger Roswell more than anything. So we have three, essentially the three... Uh, espionage cards so we have a decent shot to trigger roswell uh the other two history we've tagged in are rat king gonna get plus 13 in our hand and then this card loses 13 and we've got herald when drawn if your deck has exactly six history cards we're gonna give six random cards wherever they are plus 19 until played so nice little buff from him as well uh let's check out the rest of the deck we've got for our Forces of the Universe, we we're rocking Rogue Planet. When drawn, a random card in your hand costs minus two permanently. The Big Rip, when played, if it is the last turn of a round, both players lose minus 100 this turn. Uh, Carrington Event, when drawn, your Forces of the Universe cards, wherever they are, gain plus 27 for two turns. And your other cards, wherever they are, lose five for two turns. Uh, let's see, we also got Steven's Quintet. When drawn, your cards in hand with seven or more base energy gain plus 22 and cost minus three. This kind of helps in combos with Roswell. A lot of times that card's kind of expensive and tough to cast or play. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll be holding Roswell. We'll draw Steven's, get that minus three discount, and it'll help us get Roswell down. So I've had that happen quite frequently. Uh, we've also got Big Bang is going to be our plus one energy. It's going to give, uh, give us our energy regen, essentially. <coughs> Excuse me. And we've got N NGC. Uh, when played, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus seven for the round. So uh, remaining cards we have are Science. Uh, we've got William Thomas. or T Yeah, Thompson. Uh, when returned, basically your Forces of the Universe cards are going to get that plus 12 until played is what we're going for. And we will repeat that if it's uh, if we've played absolute zero this game. So, of course, we've tossed in absolute zero. Don't really care about the effects. It's, again, just in here primarily to get that double buff for the uh, forces of the universe there. Also, Rock and Evolution, just to give us a little bit of a discount on some of our cards uh, make sure we can play everything. Laser Sword, really nice in this deck. Uh, we play a lot of Forces of the Universe, so late game this card's going to be huge for the uh, the 5 energy right there. And we've got final card, Door to Hell. Just a nice way to win a round. Quick plus 50 on your cards. So let's go check this deck out. It's been playing good. I don't think I've lost with it yet. I think i played 3 or 4 games now. So it's done well. Actually played up against pretty much a mirror. Well, it was almost a mirror. He actually had a Forces of Universe and Pioneers of Science build. And he was rocking Carl Sagan. So uh, he just did the two science and uh, uh, forces of the... Or science and space. So it actually... he, he I think he won the 
Pioneers of Science round. That was it. I think I won the rest, if I'm not mistaken. But deck did well. Definitely stacks up. Um, as always, though, good time to say if you guys enjoy the channel, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. All right, here we go. So we drew two of our espionage cards. It's kind of unfortunate we didn't draw Roswell there. That would have been nice. I'm going to hold them for now just in case we do draw Roswell. So we can always play them because we are in the espionage arena right now. So we do want to play them essentially. Just not yet. want to make sure that we don't draw Roswell here. Got to make sure if I do draw it, I can play it. So 9 plus 5. Okay, I will have enough. So let's do this. I'm probably going to have to play at least one of these anyway. Well, maybe not. We're up by 100. <clears throat> Just hoping we draw it. Because I hate trying to cycle without it. There it is. Worked out perfect. Let's go ahead and do it like that. Going to get our buff. And we can play Statue next turn, or start a next round. Let's get that buff going as well. Sitting, sitting pretty so far. This deck does a lot for not a lot of energy too, I feel like, which is nice. I don't care to play this on turn three because you can see how big it gets by itself. We don't really need that minus 100. It really only hurts us. Probably play laser next turn. Let's get the big rip down. <coughs> Take advantage of the buff. A little extra we get. It's a good turn for him there. Forces of Universe is round five, so if we make it that far, I think we're going to have a good shot at round five. Yeah, let's do it like that. All right, he's getting us this round so far. Look at that, Big Bang actually looks playable. Who'd have thought? Actually putting some power down with it. All right, let's, let's go ahead and do it like this and see if it's going to be enough. Might be. Ooh, you think he got us. It was close. Right, we're going to go to round three. Still looking decent. Let's go ahead and get evolution down. Take advantage of the discount. There we go. wonder if he's got uh, Holy Grail on his deck. Is that is that, that Arts and Culture card? Haven't been paying attention to see if it's been sitting there all game. Might be. Here we go. Steven's Quint Quintet really helping us get uh, a discount there. Do want to go ahead and get... Roswell down now. Get the buff. Let's 
That's annoying. Somebody's car alarm's going off outside. Gotta love it. I guess they're deaf, because they ain't turning it off. There we go. Alright, we're down 150. Can we catch up here? Probably not. He's probably got us. But we're going to try. Oh, we got it. Heck yeah. All right. That's what we needed. I'm pretty confident we can win round five. So that's all we need. At least ensures we get there. There's our Pioneer looking pretty large. We'll go ahead and play him down. I'm actually going to switch so we draw back Harold if we need him. Rather than Thompson. Or Tom Thompson. <clears throat> a Primate's deck does hit pretty hard, though, I feel like. Played it the other day, too. It's doing really well against me. Definitely decent. Right, we got our laser. Laser sword. Might just save that. We'll see if we need it or not. If we need it, we'll play it. But I don't think we will. Save it for the last round here. Or actually, this could just be the last round. Maybe we play it now just to close it out. Yeah, we can probably just close it out here. So what's that going to do? That's going to hit us for probably 300. Nope, 212. So this would mean he'd need 670 or greater. Yeah, I doubt he's got it if he's playing all science cards. Maybe primates, I would think, would have a chance. But I really don't think his science cards would. Yeah, I didn't think they could put out 600. That seemed a little unreasonable. All right, well, that's the deck, guys. Did really good. Like I said, it plays pretty good. Especially since I've tossed a lot of kind of unique cards in, too. You don't see a lot of these cards played very often. So, kind of surprised how good it's playing, actually. So we've got several unique cards at <clears throat> Virginia Hall you don't see hardly a lot of these forces of nature card or for, uh, forces of the universe cards you don't see very much either so it's kind of cool I like winning with off the wall decks you guys know I love that alright here we go let's go play one more game see if we can uh, continue the streak keep it alive Granted, I am playing down at rank 12, so the competition might not be as good as Dragon, but, you know, we can get some wins down here in Trash Can Tier. It's fine. But, uh, yeah. I've always liked Roswell, too, that card. I don't know, just something about it. Like, I just want it to work, you know? And it's so tough with those espionage cards, too. Try to make it work just because espionage in general seems a little underwhelming. Do it like that. Well, <clears throat> dang, did I just play an espionage card? 
No, okay. I was going to say, dang, what was I doing? <coughs> All right, we're going to sit on Roswell, see if we can draw another espionage here. Probably going to lose this first round. There's our Virginia Hall. We do have enough. We do have enough energy, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, what are we up against here? Periodic table. The horizon problem. Interesting. All right, should be a good round for us here. Forces of the Universe round. I don't see us losing here. Do it like that. Get our Big Bang energy online. <laughs> Ooh, he's got Tungsten. So he's going to get that plus 14. He's dinging himself on his energy. Interesting. Pinteresting. Very, very Pinteresting. <laughs> I'm going to do this so it buffs one of these cards right here. Let's play the more expensive card. And we'll save Carrington for next turn. Possibly play Laser Sword. We'll see. This deck's pretty sweet. I'm, I'm digging it. Definitely, definitely digging it. Alright, turn three. Get Harold down. I'm going to hold Enigma just in case we draw into Roswell here coming up. Don't think we need to play Laser. I think 500 is plenty. I was going to say, I'd be surprised if he got us. Oh, he does have a lot of uh, Pioneers. Kind of surprised he didn't save those for next round. Unless he's just got that many in his deck. Seemed like a waste, though. We'll see. He might have a good shot here on this next one if he's rocking a Pioneer's deck. <coughs> he just drew a whole fistful of science, so definitely concerning. Yep, there's Leonardo. So he does have one, at least. There's Roswell. Yeah, I think I think we just let him have this. I don't think we're winning this round. Since it looks like his deck's geared towards this round. But I think we have a good shot to still win. We have espionage on the round five. And you can see we're playing a bunch of them now, right? So we're, we are going to get them back on round five if we make it there. So I think we'll be good. Let me also get laser sword down now. So I'll draw it back round five. And what else do we want to get back then? Let's let's do Stevens. K 
Okay. He's got a lead on us. Don't think it's the end of the world, though. I am a believer that we have a chance. Oh, I just realized that uh, Tom Thompson also buffs evolution. That's cool. Didn't catch that before. Neat little combo. Door to Hell's gonna help us win this round. Dang, Big Bang looking pretty juicy now, huh? It's a lot of buffs. Look at them all. Looking pretty juicy. <clears throat> right, so we should have this round in the bag. I'm about to draw into some espionage cards too, so... This is looking pretty good. I'm just going to play our lowest cards here. I don't really need to do much here, I don't think. Be surprised if he drops 600. Yeah, let's just do it like that. No reason to do anything crazy. We got plenty of energy as well. All right, here we go. We're drawing into our espionage. One could argue I probably should have played Enigma Machine there. But, yeah, I probably should have. That's all right, though. All right, we got our forces, or laser sword, I'm sorry. So that looks good, too. <clears throat> oh, he's running out of energy. So what happens when you play Tungsten and don't uh, include anything else? You'd be struggling. Right, I think that's game. Laser Sword's going to close this out. I'm pretty confident. 312 just right there. There we go. Gonna need almost 800 here. I think we got it. <clears throat> yeah, we always had it. There was, I mean, there was no question, right, guys? Right? We weren't sweating at all. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was terrified. I was shaking in my boots. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the deck. Like I said, I think this is a perfect little deck for this week. Uh, taking advantage of the arenas and like I said it did it's got a lot of buffers in it so it really helps the deck out you saw we had big bang looking massive that game so pretty neat when you can get a card like that with you know 15 buffs attached to it so pretty cool so overall i think the deck played really good i think it did what it needed to do at least did what i did did what i i built it for i should say but uh all right guys hopefully you enjoyed and again hit that like button and that subscribe button Thanks for watching.